Hello and welcome to another episode of Claire Hair Special Star Wars Edition. May the 4th be with you. Today we're going to be talking about some Star Wars topics and then um, some of my personal opinions that you're going to disagree with. First things first, is the hat foot giving? Like, it, I feel like the longer I have it, this is like week three, like the longer I have it, like the better it looks. Like this looks so much better than when I first put it in. Anyways, that's the clear hair report. The, the, the half wig is giving. Um, I feel like a whole goddess. Oh my God, you can see my reflector. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, but seriously though, like I really feel like um, there needs to be more melanin in the Space Force. And I know you guys are gonna say, we gave you Finn, we gave you John Boyega. I was just like, yeah. And he was like a star trooper turn, um, I don't know. <laughs> he was like a star trooper turned like good guy, I think, or whatever. I don't know, but it wasn't given what I was supposed to give. And you guys know it wasn't. Um, what else? And then you guys said, oh, well, we gave you Lupita. Lupita Nyong'o. Le gusta. Like, everybody loves Lupita. Um, but they made her come as like a sweet potato. Like, she, maybe because I'm always hungry, but they made my baby Lupita look like a sweet potato. So I wasn't really feeling that. I wouldn't consider that as a melanin count. I wouldn't consider that um, as a win, if you would say. Um, but I can't even name five five melanated characters from um, Star Wars. Like I couldn't even be like, hey, there is actually so, so, and so. Like I can't even name any. And I've watched all seven, if not eight movies of the pre ones, right? Um, I can definitely say like, I, I wish there was more melanin. There was this one character I saw from Visions that I might cosplay in the future. The umbrella is gonna be such a contraption to make, but if you guys want me to, I will cosplay as that person. But uh, <laughs> but uh, um, I don't see a lot of melanin and this is not to sit there and say like, make everything like non-melanated, like it's not cool, but it's just like us blurs out here. Like we wanna see us, you know? Um, uh, number two, this is a character I made up. I don't have anything. So if you guys give me a name, like my brain is just running a blank. I'm editing so much and editing these episodes back to back. Um, Bridgerton, I just finished Brid filming Bridgerton, um, um, Queen Charlotte. And then now I'm doing, um, May the Fourth Be With You. They just happened to be on the same day this year. So I am doing overtime as a content creator right now. Um, I don't see, I don't know what I would call myself. Maybe Jackal. I just made that up. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I just, I just want them to know that we have the ideas. Cause I know the first things first, and I'm going to go into what my favorite um, Star Wars movie is, but first things first is when the first, the first caveat is they're just like, we don't know what to write about or a character. I was like, listen, I've read synopsises in the comments that would put these movies as in theaters to shame. Like, listen to these people, go watch them. Um, I've definitely come across some stories. I was like, dang, like this is a movie. Like I would pay money to go see it back to back. And that's saying a lot. Cause a lot of people don't go to movie theaters anymore. Um, but overall more melanin in space. So we're going to go on to what my favorite, my favorite Star Wars movie is now. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but my favorite movie is Star Wars 2. Star Wars episode two, Attack of the Clones. Now, as an adult, looking back, I was just like, Padme was really after Anakin and she was way older than him. <laughs> we gonna ignore that. <laughs> but, um, no, I had the only crush on Hayden Christensen. Hey, don't judge me, but I did. I was just like, even, even when he said his stupid line about, I hate the sun. It gets everywhere. I was just like, damn, he must really be attractive for us to ignore that bad delivery. Like, like I said, <laughs> like I said, like, um, it's just the, the movie itself. Like, I remember I watched this movie when it first came out in 2002. Don't do that math too quick. But I, I watched it when it first came out. I had the only crush on him. He could do no wrong. Even... <laughs> Even after, you know, he's getting a little bit more possessive of her. I was like, this is great. And I was like, this is why, this is why you need to talk to your kids, okay? Because I was definitely a whole, no, 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 greater. And I was just like, this is amazing. No, it's not. This is not okay in real life. But in the, the object of space, yes. Um, I like the um, song, that, da, 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 copyright. Like, I love that song that the main, um, I call it the Padme and um, Anakin song. Um, them getting married at the end. I'm sorry, but like, I know I wasn't, <laughs> I know like, 
<laughs> like after he got his arm, um, I think his arm like sliced off by uh, I can't even say his name. General, you know his name. I can't even pronounce it. But after he had his hand chopped off and then like see through PO and see, I know y'all. I'm about to lose all my fans right now because I'm about to geek out real quick. C3PO, R2D2, just watching them get married as the two witnesses, and I was like, "What is going on at the end of this movie?" And then what killed me is that when she grabbed his robot hand, I was like, <laughs> "Natalie Portman is a better actress than me." Because baby, if you try to tell me I had to grab a robot hand and say I do, I'm sorry, I would have giggled because like it's not like <laughs> you have to watch the whole movie because. He lost his arm because he was being stubborn. You know you're not you not you're not a master Jedi and you was going to you were trying to battle him. Like that's why it's funny. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, but like I'm sorry, but if you want me to grow like it's it's the fact that like you can tell the CGI was just so bad in 2002. And Natalie Portman is the best actress on earth because maybe I would have been giggling the whole time. And then I do <laughs> That would have been me the whole time, just giggling um but overall i like the movie like just the pace of it just to you know show them growing up um natalie portman the stylist i don't know like i don't know where she's at for today but she's not a millionaire or 100 millionaire or something like she was in her bag the whole movie even though the movie has one of the lowest reviews out of the whole series um she was in her bag <laughs> i was like she was entirely in her bag every outfit was a look like every outfit was a look everything was just so like everything was just so on point um the only bad things about the movies is i do feel like it was one of the more boring movies like there were certain parts like when the clones were being created and i was just like dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay i was like oh my peep my couple's back <laughs> I, was, I was like pat man anakin's back thank you i was like this is like mad dry and like i've watched all seven episodes i can honestly say you know, even though I wouldn't want to admit it to the um, old school people, but the earlier movie, the earlier, later movies, like four through seven, they ate top down compared to the early ones. And I never thought I'd say those words, but I've gone mature now. So <laughs> I've gone mature, but like they ate top down, like not even, not even close, like not even close from the plot devices and just like the um, motifs, like the... Like a lot of the metaphors, you know, I'm trying to say a lot of the foreshadowing, like it ate top down. The earlier ones, like from 1999 to um, 2005, all the top, the earlier three ones, I was just like, all right, man. <laughs> like, I'm here for aesthetics. Like, if it's one thing I could tell these movie um, creators, are good, they're like, listen, we're going to make a basic plot where we're going to find the finest people we got on earth to act. Like, they're like, Natalie. You have to sell this, you know, like you're gonna have to sell this. And she did. Like, she gave like a full performance. And, you know, like there's so many Raspberry Awards. I think it was like one of after Catwoman, of course. Rare. Like after Catwoman, like it was one of the top um movies to receive so many Razzie Awards because it was terrible. And um, but no, like I'm definitely a Star Wars fan. Like, you guys have no idea, but like um, I don't know exactly if we can make it more popular. I know um, Rosaria Dawson's about to eat her role all the way up in fall, which I was kind of confused on because I thought the movie, uh, sorry, series was going to come out in summer because summer makes sense. Like I thought it was going to premiere from May the 4th, you know, um, uh, Mandalorians tearing up the game. Like they sat there and said, it's baby Grogu. We're just like, yeah, it's baby Yoda. Anyway, it's like we just ignored them. <laughs> like they, they sat there and said, this baby is this baby's name is called baby Grogu. And they're just like, yeah, we're going to call him baby Yoda. Baby Y. OK, um, but yeah, like I I'm, I'm so excited for Rosario's um, role. Like she looks so good. Um, I could tell she got into a lot of shape, but she already looked good. But I could tell she was like training for this role. Um, but I'm just surprised, like I think what's going on, so we're gonna talk about the future of Star Wars. I think what's happening is that they're afraid. And I get it because the last couple of Star Wars movies, there was like a lot of, you know, controversy between like a lot of the main characters and they wanna come back and some of them that did wanna come back. But I think right now what's happening is that they're afraid to make a risk. And I understand because you sit there and just imagine you got two hundred dollars, more two hundred million, right? You got you sat there and got two hundred dollars together, and was like, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a popsicle stand for two hundred dollars," and then the profits like three or four hundred dollars back. It's kind of like, 
I don't want to take that risk. And then on top of that, you got to pay your people back. Because even let me show you how the box office really works. So let's say the budget's like $100 million, but the movie makes two fifty. A lot of people are just like, oh, it made profit. No, it didn't. Guess who you got to pay? You got to pay everybody. You got to pay the advertisers who keep popping it up on your timeline. You got to pay the producers. You got to pay the talent agencies that got you the actresses. You have to pay the actresses. You have to pay the janitor. You have to pay everybody. So most of the time, the only time you can really make bank is when you make three times or more what you put in. Like if you made a hundred million and you, let's say you put a hundred million dollar budget and you made 300 million back, now you're at a good place to break even. And then if you get to 400 million then you're or more, you're doing good, like a Marvel movie. But uh, the last Star Wars movies, no one's going to watch them. I think the last one, I think, I promise you, when they showed um, Ray, the last movie I watched, they literally, uh, when they had showed Kylo Ren and his shirt off, I was like, why are you wearing no shirt? Uh, the front row of the movie theater walked out. The front row walked out. I was crying. I was like, you're not seeing the front row. The front row of the movie theater walked out mid-movie. They're like, oh, come on. And then they left. I was like, oh. That's how you know That's how you know a movie is trash because it, movies are not like, a, you know, two bucks in an um, apple pie now. Now it's like at least, you're at least, if you're going to go to the movie theater and have the audacity to eat, you're at least dropping half a C-note. You're at least dropping $50. And they're not gonna sit here and sit there, sit here and waste their time or money doing that. So I don't know, but definitely for sure. Um, all my nerds or whatever, whatever you're nerdy about, put it in the comments. Don't forget to like uh, uh, the Sith. The uh, Sith. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to like, share. It's clear here.